It is a fact that extreme and unpredictable weather events caused by climate change have a massive impact on the world's poorest and most vulnerable communities. Erratic climate change has rendered traditional methods of reading the weather useless and local communities, subsistence farmers and fishermen are now being forced to reassess the very nature of their existence. Developing countries, which undoubtedly bear the brunt of climate change, have the least number of ground-level weather monitoring stations. The situation is especially critical in Africa. We came across a map of the World Meteorological Organization, the WMO, saying that there are thousands of weather observation points missing all over Africa. Basically, the entire of sub-Saharan Africa is a black hole in terms of weather observation. The World Meteorological Organization estimates that the continent has only one-eighth of the required observation density to effectively monitor ground-level weather data. Without prior knowledge and informed actions being taken, unexpected and extreme weather conditions are threatening to erase the livelihoods these communities have nurtured and depended on for centuries. Accurate weather information is equally important for the health sector. Malaria alone kills between 700,000 and 2.4 million people each year, an estimated 90% of those being Africans, putting pregnant women and children most at risk, as this disease is the biggest killer of children under five. Acknowledging the urgent need to act and support adaptation to climate change, Kofi Annan, president of the Global Humanitarian Forum, announced in June 2008 the Weather Info for All initiative, the Weather Info for All initiative aims to deploy 5,000 automatic weather stations throughout the African continent in cooperation with the National Meteorological Services. As weather stations need power, connectivity, maintenance and security, they are installed at cell phone towers. Data is sent via the cellular network to the National Meteorological Services who analyse the information and turn it into weather forecasts. These forecasts and early warnings in case of storm or floods are then sent to the media, disseminated on the internet and distributed via SMS to farmers, fishermen, local authorities and others. It is also shared with other African national meteorological centers and with the global telecommunication system of the World Meteorological Organization, where it can be accessed by meteorological centers worldwide. The Weather Info for All initiative has a broad scope and will have tangible positive impacts on several sectors. The initiative aims to allow those most affected by climate change to make constructive decisions on a daily basis, empowering local populations to adapt to climate change, thereby protecting their lives and improving their livelihoods. By providing accurate weather information, farmers will be able to make better informed decisions to improve their agricultural yields, which will ultimately contribute to the overall increase in agricultural productivity across the African continent. Health workers, local authorities and populations living in areas most affected by climate-sensitive diseases will be able to better implement preventative measures and limit the spread of these diseases and epidemics. Governments will be able to improve disaster reduction and risk management plans and lessen the socio-economic consequences of extreme weather events. In cases of extreme climatic events such as floods or droughts, accurate weather predictions can instigate preventative action on the part of local communities, aid agencies and governments, therefore saving people's lives and livelihoods. Climate change is happening, and it is happening right now, and the most affected are the world's poorest and most vulnerable populations. The Weather Info for All initiative by the Global Humanitarian Forum and its partners is a sustainable and practical solution that aims to provide the help needed by those individuals and families that are dealing with the daunting effects of climate change. With the vast mobile communication infrastructure already in place, the initiative will make a major difference and ultimately empower millions of people to cope and adapt to climate change.